Yeah, everything seems fine. Yeah. Oh, contagious yawning. Hello everyone, welcome back to Charlotte and Zeke Play Undertale. We're going for the pacifist ending today. We are. Um, we have to go watch anime with a nerd. Yes, that's where they told us to go, that's, wasn't it? That's what the flower said, anyway. Yeah, and we know we can trust that flower. Hmm. <laughs> Since when has a yellow flower ever let us down? Absolutely never. That's when. Hmm. So, Charlotte. Yes. I got a question for you. Okay. Who's your least favourite character to voice? To voice? Yeah, yeah. Undyne, because I gave them such a bad voice. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Undyne's going to be in this cutscene. <laughs> You're going to have to voice a lot of someone. Oh, J just someone. Someone. Some certain one. <laughs> it, you would only ask if it was a problem. You can change their voice if you like. No, no, I'm trying to stick with it. Is there a quicker way down and I'm stupid, or am I just stupid? You might just be stupid, but I don't know if there's a quicker way down. Hey, yeah. Oh, actually, I guess, um, there was an elevator up. Oh. Ring. <gasps> hey, this is undone. Is it? I couldn't tell by the voice. Shush. Shut up. Virus, this was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I'm not snowed in front of papyruses. See ya, punk. Click. Okay, let's see if this elevator's working now. The elevator is in use. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's working. Someone's in it. Yeah. Maybe they're a repair man or something, but... I gotta go Snowden. Yeah, and it was this way? I don't remember. Shocked Fireman, I remember. Because <gasps> we forgot his name. What the hell is his name? I don't know. I forgot. Yeah, did we ever learn it? I don't think so. Oh, whatever. And if we did, I don't care. <gasps> Wow. All he's done is stand there and look shocked that he's not as popular as he thought he was. And can you blame him? Tra la la, care for a ride. Go to Snowdin, please. This freaking cutscene. Yeah. And tra la la, the angel is coming. Tra la la. Oh. I hope they're a nice angel. Well, there was that, like, prophecy about an angel saving them from the underground. Ah. It was like an angel will appear and the underground will go empty. And people don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> do, 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 do. We're at Papyrus's house. There they are. Hey, I have something to give you. Is it a kiss? But you're carrying way too much. You motherfucker. We don't need this manly bandana. No. Ban manly bandana. Um, so I have a to ask. I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... Uh-oh. He's got the blushies. Look at that little face. It is kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. <laughs> okay. So here you go. Well, they couldn't go there before, actually. Mm hmm. Oh, hang on. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never sign the. Mm. She can never seem to find the right words. What an opportune time to fuck up his words. Yeah. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she'll always quit so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. Um, I, d I don't think that's quite the reason, but alright. Alright. But, if... 
I guess she does hate Heartland, because do you remember we had to pour the water on her when she went there before? Yeah, but I assume that was just because she was in a big clunky suit of armour. That's true. I can't imagine a fish doing much better in a literal oven, though. No, true. With bare skin. Grr. <laughs> Dear. Tra-la-la, the water is very dry today. It's true. Yeah, it's not splashing at all right now. Mm. I wonder what you look like under that. We'll never find out. Tra -la -la. Maybe he's like that boss in Into the Gungeon where there's just a pistol under that cloak. I get the feeling probably not. Undine's letter. Unique letter written for Dr. Alphys. Okay. Should I read it? No. Alright. <laughs> they asked you not to, so you don't. Alright. The door is no mail slot. The letter under? Yeah. No. Keep the letter warm for a um. <laughs> Slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. They're getting a buzz saw on it. Oh, the door. <laughs> hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god? Did you write this letter? <laughs> it wasn't signed, though. I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. Oh, dear. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. The least I can do to make it up to you. Y y yeah, let's go on a date. Dating start. I mean, this is the second date we've been on in this game. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. We've been on so many dates. Oh. <laughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um... Anyway, <laughs> let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. Oh God. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got... the metal armor polish. Um... Maybe you can't use that. Oh dear, they're but made for each other. I also bought some waterproof cream for your scales. <laughs> your, uh, scales. Ah, uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, <laughs> um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating! Start? <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, date. Are we doing it? I think we're doing it. We're standing around together, so this is how you date. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is me on a date. Do you like... <laughs> <laughs> do we? Uh, that's really... Yes, yes. All I mean, I do. Alright. Don't uh, bite you, nerd. Uh, hey, me too. <laughs> Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's good? Where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. We we'll go there all the time. It's great. Yeah. Here we are. That's the biggest trash can I've ever it seen. Is. It, it's for Alphys to stand in. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh. <laughs> She's really ah. Uh, 
Oh no. That's her over there. I, I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes! I mean, I was kind of right. Hey, there you are! I, uh, realized if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks. I'll keep looking. I'm bad at looking. Oh my god. Oh, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. You're playing as... I know. What a boo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I messed up again. And I'm the person I am... Um, I really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't, I'm um, cool. <laughs> but Undyne. She's so confident and strong and funny. I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. Tell the truth. Yeah. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or tr truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the, the, the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay. Oh, I, I see. We really just have one choice then. R roleplay. That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Who do you want to be Undyne? We'll, we'll be Undyne. Yeah, she's got to practice being herself. Yeah. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? What do you want to say, Undyne? I'm fine. Or... <laughs> capital O, you're cute. You're cute. <laughs> you're cute. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What do you want to say? What is it, Alphys? Alright. Um, you see, I... 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You... You see, I... I... Oh, forget it. Undyne! I... I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and so s strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Are we sure they haven't already been on a date? Yeah. And I'm, I can't take this any longer. Um. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne. Hold me. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Oh no, they're both looking at us. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we're only romantically role-playing with you. What? I mean, I mean, and I, I, 
I've been lying to you. <laughs> Manic face. <laughs> <laughs> what? What about? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important. Really, I just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books are reading are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, these, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone. I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. <laughs> Elvis. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. And that I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elvis. Go pat your head. Aw, oh, I wonder if it hurts because they're spiky. <laughs> Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? No, big hug. Aw. Oh. Elvis. She. She. <laughs> How soothing. She. 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 Oh, God. Then we'll pick you up. Oh, dear. <laughs> Three points. Elvis. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching cape cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is like passionate and that you're analytical. Doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% maximum power. God, she's going crazy. So. You don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Now, Fizz, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. <laughs> I'm done, you. <laughs> You're gonna train me? <laughs> well, me? Aha! Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. I am the Jog Boy! <laughs> <laughs> get those bones shaking. <coughs> it's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? Matt, stop timer. Uh, I'm fine. I'll do my best. I'm not hearing much hooting. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Oh no. Anime's real, right? Oh no. Anime's real. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the cartoon is real. It exists. Uh, it's not real. We've been preaching about being honest. Yeah. No. No! I can feel my heart breaking into pieces. No. I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alvis. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. Aw. I'll try to do my best to live in this world. See you later. We did it! Yay! And they just left us alone in the dump. And they did. With the symmetrical garbage. Bloody symmetrical garbage. Ugh. Taking a worthless garbage fills you determination, as always. Mmm. Right, how do we get out of here? We'll just keep going up. Just don't fight the dummy again if he's still around. Uh. Oh. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This sounds good. <laughs> this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Ah, uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Seems like a man I can trust. Yeah. He is our very trustworthy mutual friend. Sure, while well, we're here, let's uh say hello to an old friend. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna keep working on that mix C D. Okay. Cool, good on you, man. It's only been a couple months. Oh. What? I bet 
bet this is the door we unlock with that key we could buy. Ooh, maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah, snail races. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Don't do this either, really. Mm. Maybe we should skip this part of the episode until we're back there. Can't set timer. Well, that's convenient. We'll pause the episode now. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was hoping it's to say how long we were recording for. No, it's uh, the, the other one when we're on the switch that does. Oh. Hmm? Never mind. It's actually been a full episode amount of time, so next time oh. on Charlotte and Zeke, we'll be at the lab. Yay! Anime! Anime! Woo! It's not real, you fucking weebs! It is! You said it wasn't. Anime's real! Very real. Bye. Bye. <laughs>